Oh boys, check me out. I have a demon souls aura. Or it seems like one at least. This crown must have a, a bonus effect. It must regenerate something. It's, yeah, it's bringing my life back. Incredibly slowly. I hope we can talk. Please talk. Oh, yes. You've granted my one wish. Now she's going to fuck us up. Now, I have no regrets. Why does she sound so ominous? I was born amidst the dark. Long ago, in the depths of the abyss, my father perished. I know. I killed him. The dark was shattered into tiny pieces, one of which was me. How frightful I was. A frail thing, born from but a splinter of dark. No oh, splinter. You did wonderful things for those turtles. Sound like she said I sought an anchor. It sounded like she said I saw that the king of this land was strong. Maybe the echo just fucked with me. Bitches, man, bitches be crazy. They sent all these kings mad. was the king down there? Did you really drive him that mad? I mean, I have an erection. <laughs> kind visitor, please accept my gratitude. Shows me a tits. Ah, she's giving me the rest of the. Fucking hell. Got heart condition over here, love. Ah, I get it. So apparently, for each something that we do, it's going to break these these things. My dear, dear, has departed. Oh, maybe not. Yeah. For my yeah. For my yeah. For my ah. So there must be something else we need to do. Or maybe I can break this stuff now. Can I balls? I want to see you. Why can't I see you, woman? I am man. Horny, horny man. So. Let's check that guy's soul, because I'm still confused here. Soul of the Ivory. Wow, he's got a big soul. Look at that. That's um, Soul of the Ivory King of Elium Lois. The proud Ivory King was ever merciful and devoted himself to the protection of his great land. Until he was devoured by a wolf. By the flame of chaos. The wondrous soul of the this great king can be used to... A yeah, we know all that shit. So... What the hell is chaos? Except for an, an abstract framework device to not explain what's happening. Like, is... <clears throat> is it trying to say that, like, the first flame somehow warped him, or... Like, it warped Gwyn? Like, what is this? You know, what is this shit, Barry? It's blood. I wonder if I can fight these guys. I bet I can. Yeah. It's so you can get their armor. 
or something. Maybe there's some kind of reward for, for slapping them for about an hour. <coughs> so much goddamn life. Yeah, I don't want to do this. <laughs> Time travel me. Maybe if I wear all that armor, she'll open the rest of this icy pathway up to me so I can kiss those frigid lips. Uh, apparently I don't have the helmet. I don't know, some of the armors on this game just... They don't do anything for me, cosmetically. Some of them are really good, but some of them just... Pfft, turd in a ball. Stats-wise, for the weight, they might be really good. Like, I do like the legs. Yo, bitch. I totally look like you now. Okay. Well, of course you can see that that didn't work. <coughs> let's put the armor that we had on that was quite successful for us. And let's go and visit Vendrick, because... Aside from that coffin place, like, where, where else is there left? And that coffin place is an optional area where... I know I'm going to dislike. I just get that feeling that it's going to be something that rubs me the wrong way. To which you might think is a pretty negative mindset to go into something, and it is, but think of the previous two areas. Both of them rubbed me the wrong way, so it just seems like the logical extension would be that it's going to rub me the wrong way. A strict edit of isolationism. It'd be funny if you could combine all the crowns into a super crown. They called me the super crown. I'm a relative of the giant spider. Queen spider. Bloody hell, they sound busy. Getting a bit busy with fizzy, aren't you, you lot? Oh. Dancing with death. You know. DJ Death, the Yorkshire rapper. <laughs> Come on, Mendrick. What do we get? You are awarded the Heckler and Coke MP5. Koch. Can't remember the pronunciation of that word. This is it, folks. One day, fire will fade, and dark will become a curse. Why does that sound audio balance wrong? Men will be free from death, left to wander eternally. Dark will again be ours, and in our true shape, we can bury the false legends of yore. Oh, oh no. Is this our only choice? Seeker of fire, coveter of the throne. Seek strength. I've got strength. Is he gonna put it? Here we go. Combining crowds. <laughs> Super crowd. Do -do 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 -do. The rest will follow. What in the fuck just happened? What just happened? <laughs> Heat radiates from the ancient crowns. <clears throat> it's not useful though, is it? 
So that's all the normal crowns. That's King Vendrick's crown. I wanna, uh, the rest will follow. What does it mean? <clears throat> Look, I can't even do anything anymore. Motherfucker. Which one was it? Was it this one? Where was the super crown? You must wear all the crowns. The combi crown. Uh, bollocks. Uh, I reckon that if there is a merchant that sells any of the stuff from the DLC, it's going to be the Chancellor of Elega guy. Because if you think about it, every area where the DLC's taken part, the, the merchant closest to it has been the guy who's kind of had the stuff. In theory, I guess. But so far, there's not been a single NPC in any of these DLCs. It's... it's bullshit, man. There's not been a single shop, there's not been a single place to get easy Twinkling Titanite or Petrified Dragonborn. Like, they've added literally nothing. Let's have a look. Oh, goodness. Oh, what if those doors open now? Uh, that'd be good. No, only used assets. Bastards. Come on, Veliger. Talk to me! Tell me the truth. Welcome, visitor. Our guests are treating you. Yeah, Tell yeah. me. Hmm. No, looks like I was wrong. Gone so soon. Maybe when we come in here, it'll be the Ivory King. Can we sit on it? No. Oh, this is bullshit. I hate the fucking vague nonsense that these games seem to think is so cool. Just give us a fucking bone. The rest will follow. Like, what, in more DLC? In ass bandit. The rest will follow. Ugh. <sighs> Well, let's go back here. Maybe she says something now. Oh my, your crown is, is mighty long and stiff. I might want to gaze upon it for some time. It's the Grand Cathedral. sense game. It's obviously because I didn't, you know, drop a million prism stones down the well in Firelink and get the Crestfallen Sword and then transfer my data across to this game. <clears throat> Let's go back to Majula. Maybe the witches know something. You know, maybe a million things because they've all got no fucking personality. They could now say something different. They could now say something that makes them worth being where they are. Grown stronger still. Yes. 
I only hope it brings you what you wish. Well, depends. An end of the vagueness and the bullshit of Dark Souls. Should we see how many times this build has died? Hey! 2,022 deaths. I earned every one of them. Still nothing with that, then. That is a lot of death. I've done some pretty impressive things on this build, though, so it does make sense. Uh, maybe she sells unlimited well. twink now. Nah. That'd be amazing. I've got all the crowns, let me buy all the twink I want. Maybe not. Not the game. Fuck no, you, Dark Souls. Let's go to uh, Iron Keep. As much as I really dislike this place. I dislike it. I just think it's a combination of features that should never go together in an enemy. It should not have an enemy this fast and this durable and this damaging. It seems kind of cruel. Like, they can run faster than you can. They do big damage. They do bleed damage. They're massively armoured, so they're incredibly resilient. Well... So this guy's not got it then. Whatever it is. So he powered up that crap. <clears throat> Excuse me. He powered up that crown. I wonder if we can go to where we got Vendrick's soul from and sit in his seat. Then it does something cool. What was I going to do? Uh, we're going to check both Strayed and the the, the woman. Oh, I forget her name. Orn Effects. There you go. I was going to call her Ophelia, but that's not right. <laughs> I just wish I could have been more cheerful during that bullshit moment of that boss fight. I really do. I take no great pleasure in, in immensely disliking parts of games. But that bit just... Ugh. It took the cake. I don't know where it took the cake, but it just took it. it took all of it. Well, very good. Very good indeed. Frampt would be proud. Right. Any of that new? No. Hmm. None of it's no. Shut up, you tit. Droopy eared snake. Come here. What sounds like curse frogs? Astrologist gauntlets. So there's two places we've not really explored left in the DLC, which I'm going to do a little later. Uh, one of them is the area where that NPC wrecked me yesterday. Uh, the other one is the, I assume, the challenge area with the frozen tundra. But I'm probably going to do those after I come back from my girlfriend. Mm -hmm. 
So this is interesting. When I did my weapon showcase videos, that did not exist. However, apparently it does now. So I should probably get it. And I can get two. Ah! The guy's sword! Yeah. Ivory's ultra great sword. Nice. Anything else? That's that chat. Like, to get that, I don't even know how you do that. Like, you have to be on another new game plus cycle to collect all those so those souls again. Which is annoying. Ultra great sword of the dude. Wield with both hands to realise its full strength. It is said that the Ivory King was once the highest ranking knight in his home of Ferosa, famed for its god of war. Aren't these supposed to be lion people, or have I got this wrong? After taking his crown, they say he was the first to swing his sword in times of need, be it for his homeland or his people. And we killed him! <laughs> it's a Dex greatsword. Interesting. Or it might turn into perhaps a Suedo quality weapon. I say Suedo because the strength scaling is, is kind of lacking. It's a little bit better on the old hit detection. I can live with that. Well, might as well swing it around a little bit before I end this episode. And don't worry, folks, the hiatus that will happen between today's episodes and the next ones, you won't see. Because all of this is done in advance, and a lot of people don't realise that. Because it's the magic of, you know, television, I guess, or YouTube, or whatever you want to call it. Um, we're in God Named Dead Sword. There we go. And then we put on one of those rings that allows us to use it. God damn life savers. And then we check it out. Ah. This is a very big sword. It's kind of like a... A wannabe penetrator sword. And it swings. It's got them big swings. It's got them big swings too. Did you see that? I did not touch the analogue then and he swung that the other way. Does it always do that? Oh, apparently that's just what that move is. Can you guide that move? I'm going to hold forward. No, you can't. Um, I like the roll attack, which means the running attack is probably similar. There it is. Uh, nothing on there, so... True strength two-handed. I wonder if it rends the sky. Oh, it does! It totally does! Does that decrease its durability? Yeah, watch the durability when I swing that. Interesting. Interesting indeed. God, it's so cool! <laughs> and it's got that thrust that he does too. Does it do the ruler sword spin afterwards? Oh no, it does the vise uh, toss move. Oh, it's got a parry. That's bullshit. Where's the fancy move? Um, apparently I didn't press bumper then. Oh, that looks so scary. This is going to be a fun sword, this. I wonder how powerful it gets when you upgrade it, but it's going to be petrified. Oh, it's got bleed on it. Passive bleed. Kind of shitty critical. Kind of shitty poise crush. Then again, if that's only 50, I suppose it's poise crush is not too bad for its weight. Yeah, it's, it's like a better version of the Marakumo. If you like bleed, obviously. And the moveset's completely different. I wish you had the moveset of that other one. That other one's moveset is so much better. But we'll have a dip in here. We'll see if we can upgrade it a little bit. We do have the money, but do we have the resources too? What is it? Oh, that's a different weapon. What is that weapon? People these days. Yeah, shut up. Where did I get that? So this has got ambient fire on it. Chad Greatsword of the Knights of Lois. It's blade burned black by flame. Oh my goodness. When did I get this? It's kind of like a flambeau. Wow, did you hear the bumper fails then? This is kind of cool.
kind of hard to see in the light. It's definitely a great sword. What if he's got a fancy? Uh, yeah, another parry. Fucking lazy bastards. Give some animations, Christ. We've earned it. Cool. I've not seen. But it's twinkling. Who the hell's got all the twinkling, man? I've used so much twinkling that my twinkling font is dead. There's only so many ascetics I can burn in, like, the, bog, in the bloody dragon places. <laughs> Let's try this then. So I've got eight petrified bones. Let's watch as it goes up. The bleed looks really high. Interesting, the scaling on strength, did it go up? Yeah, this looks like a quality weapon. It could be really useful, really good. It's just that durability on the two hands, you're gonna have to be really careful. Interesting. But yeah, onwards and upwards.